Okay guys, this is my entry into the 2017 Pallet Upcycle Challenge. If you want to see how I made this, stick around. Okay, so here I am doing one of my favorite things, busting up pallets. <laughs> and uh, you can see I'm using a, just a couple of 2 fours and a wedge. I'm trying to get, uh, be a little careful with this and try to get as much uh, of the pallet wood off I can without splitting because I need some fairly long pieces. That's why I didn't do like what some guys do and just take a circular saw or a jigsaw or whatever and just rip it down. I needed to uh, get some long pieces. And after I spent several hours getting three or four of the pallets busted up, I uh, went out back and set up my planer and ran them through the planer and I'm trying to get them down to uh, a little over a half inch. I think I got them right around 5 16 thick or whatever. But it was lots of planing, lots and lots and lots of planing uh, to get these things halfway looking decent. And here I'm running one through here and I'll let you take a look to see uh, what it looks like when this one comes out. It actually cleaned up pretty good. Here I am, I've glued up the uh, top and bottom panel, and there's the two side panels glued up. And here I am getting ready to cut the uh, cut one side on, on the uh, cabinet door, and I had to use this fixture. I actually used this fixture for uh, all the material. But I made this so I could uh, run it through my table saw and get one straight edge, or reasonably straight edge. And then once I had that done, I could come back and just put the good edge against the fence and run them all through the table saw and cut them to the um, length. I believe I'm cutting them down to three inches uh, here in this shot. And I don't know what possessed me to uh, put dovetails on uh, pallet wood, but here I go. I'm using my dovetail uh, jig to uh, cut the pins and tails on these uh, pieces, these panels that I've glued up of pallet wood. And actually, I was a little bit surprised. They came out uh, really well. They were nice, nice tight uh, dovetails. So uh, pretty good considering it was just. Uh, pallet wood. And in keeping with the spirit of using up as much pallet as you can, these are just some cutoff pieces um, that I'm using. I cut them down to slats and I am uh, cut a little dado in the back part of the, uh, uh, or I guess a rabbit, in the back part of the uh, box. And I'm just gluing in these and I didn't really care what they look like because uh, this is going to be up against the wall and you won't see it. And also I even used uh, some of the scrap uh, pallet wood to make the French cleat that I nailed to the wall and to the back of the, uh, screwed to the back of this uh, box for hanging. And of course, you know me, uh, I've got to get the CNC in there somewhere. So here I am engraving Upcycle Pilot Challenge. Here I'm doing a rough uh, pass for the Eagle. And then finally, a finish pass for the Eagle. And here it's finally starting to uh, shape up and, and look like an Eagle. And here we are using a quarter inch end mill just to cut out the, uh, the whole panel. I actually had to add a couple of scrap pieces there you see as supports to try to keep this door flat. Being pallet wood it wanted to bow up on me. And here I am putting some Minwax Special Walnut uh, stain on here. And then finally a little spray lacquer just for the heck of it there.
Okay guys, that's going to do it for my entry into the 2017 Pilot Upcycle Challenge. I want to thank uh, Sterling Davis who's uh, been the major force behind this challenge for the last three or four years. And also he's passed the torch on now to my good friend Russell Clarity at Simply Wooden Creations. So I hope that Russ will keep this challenge alive and uh, we can continue to do it each year. Uh, it's a lot of fun even though it is pallet wood and I'm not a big fan of pallet wood uh, but it's still a fun project and I look forward to uh, doing it again next year. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you all later.